I'm New Brunswick Premier Blaine Higgs, encouraging you to mark Intergenerational Day on June 1st. La journée intergenerationnelle est l'occasion de célébrer l'importance d'établir des relations entre les générations. La COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted the importance of developing connections between seniors and young people and ensuring no one in our community feels isolated or alone. Nous pouvons tout aider à encourager les liens entre les personnes âgées et les jeunes. This year, on Intergenerational Day, let's take a moment to appreciate the importance of connecting across generations. Thank you. Merci. Hello, my name is Dawn Arnold and I'm the mayor of Moncton, New Brunswick. And in Moncton, we are so proud to celebrate Intergenerational Day and to see the magic that happens when we bring generations together. Bonjour, Yvon Lapierre, maire de la ville de Dieppe. Le 1er juin, c'est la journée intergénérationnelle au Nouveau-Brunswick et au Canada. Profitons-en pour avoir une discussion et passer du temps avec une personne d'une autre génération. Les échanges entre générations sont importants pour l'épanouissement de nos communautés. Hello, Yvon Lapierre, Mayor of the City of Dieppe. June 1st is Intergenerational Day in New Brunswick and Canada. Let's take the opportunity to have a chat and spend time with someone from a different generation. Exchanges between generations are important for the development of our communities. Hello, I'm Chris Pemsis, Mayor of Libby O'Hara, and I would like to recognize June 1st, along with many other Canadian municipalities, as Intergenerational Day. Blending generations brings joy and delight to all of us. Here, with 95 years between them, my mother and my granddaughter bring joy and delight to one another. Happy Intergenerational Day. Hello everyone, I'm Nancy Grant, Mayor of Rossay, New Brunswick, and I'm speaking to you from the Rossay Hive, our age-friendly community centre. We've had activities here at the Hive for about three years, and here seniors and youth regularly interact with each other to the benefit of all. And now we have a partnership with the St. John Newcomer Centre, so hopefully we are going to see newcomer youth and seniors also interacting. On Intergenerational Day, we are planning a celebration for all ages. It's going to be a blast. Happy Intergenerational Day, everyone. Hi, I'm Everett Hindley, Saskatchewan's Minister for Seniors, Mental Health and Addictions, and Rural and Remote Health. I'm proud to join people across the nation proclaiming June 1st as Intergenerational Day Canada. Let's support seniors and older adults in our communities by encouraging connections between generations, sharing stories, sharing experiences, and helping each other out. It's what builds stronger communities right across this nation, and it enriches each and every one of our lives. De la part du Conseil municipal de la Ville de du Sud, je tiens à vous souhaiter une bonne journée intergénérationnelle à toutes et à tous. Hello, I'm Donna Reardon, and I'm the mayor of the city of St. John. Connecting our generations creates an interesting dynamic in which we can share our experiences. And that's why we celebrate Intergenerational Day here on June the 1st in St. John, New Brunswick. I'm Danielle and I'm a volunteer with Compassionate Neighborhood Health Partners Society in Chilliwack, BC. Let's celebrate Intergenerational Day by recognizing how different generations can enrich each other's well-being. Hi, I'm Kim Chamberlain, Mayor for the City of Bathurst. In the city of Bathurst and the Chalor region, we strongly value the links between citizens of all generations, fostering our culture, our common knowledge, and enhancing our values. Let's celebrate this on June 1st, Intergenerational Day in Canada. Thank you. Today is Intergenerational Day, which seeks to close the gap between younger and older generations. Each generation has things they can teach each other we need to continue building bridges between generations in our community. Winnipeg is a stronger place to live, work, and play because of people from all age groups. Happy Intergenerational Day. I'm Sangeeta Nair from the Victoria General Hospital Foundation in Winnipeg, Manitoba. This year, the Victoria General Hospital Foundation and the Victoria Lifeline partnered with Fort Richmond Collegiate 
to launch the Calls for Comfort program. Seniors are matched with students and participate in weekly phone conversations where they get to know each other and exchange stories and experiences. We encourage you to celebrate this day with us by connecting with someone from a different generation. Here's wishing you a happy intergenerational day. Hello, I'm Kate Rogers, Mayor of the City of Fredericton. And on behalf of my colleagues at Fredericton City Council, I would like to wish you a happy intergenerational day. Whether you're five or 95, here in Fredericton, we embrace community and connectivity. Our city has an assortment of committees and groups and organizations that promote relationships between seniors and young people. These groups make our city stronger and a more vibrant place for everyone. The city of Fredericton wholeheartedly believes in fostering connections between generations, especially for seniors. These relationships reduce isolation, loneliness, and also improve mental health and physical health amongst Fredericktonians. As the mayor, our city council vows to continue pursuing and building these relationships to create a better place to live because everyone deserves the gift of friendship and to feel like they belong. Thank you. Bonjour tout le monde, je suis Andrew Leblanc, le maire de la ville de Riverview de Nouveau-Brunswick. In our town, we believe in bringing people together to bridge generational gaps. Whether it's our high school students finding a safe way to visit residents of a local senior's home during the pandemic, or our seniors and youth coming together through our local youth network, we are stronger as a community when we build connections with one another. We have so much to learn from each other, and on behalf of the town of Riverview, I encourage you to find ways that you too can bridge the gap between generations. Hello, everyone. On behalf of the government of Newfoundland and Labrador, and as Minister of Children, Seniors and Social Development, I am pleased to recognize and proclaim today, June 1st, 2022, as Intergenerational Day. Intergenerational Day provides the opportunity to reflect and raise awareness about the power of making meaningful connections between people of all ages. It is a day to focus on the strong positive impact of intergenerational connections to eliminate isolation and loneliness and move towards healthy, age-friendly communities that benefit us all. Today, we celebrate all the great initiatives and activities across our province that contribute to an improved quality of life and meaningful social inclusion for people of all ages in Newfoundland and Labrador. Our government recognizes the value of these intergenerational activities for people of all ages, and we encourage any initiative that brings children, youth, and seniors together. We encourage the sharing of skills, knowledge, and experiences that foster understanding and respect across the lifespan. I hope you will take the time today to make that important connection and reach across generations with simple, fun, and fulfilling activities that foster sharing and togetherness. Thank you. Hey folks, Tim Houston, Premier of Nova Scotia here, encouraging everyone to celebrate Intergenerational Day. Too many Nova Scotians of all ages have felt isolated during the pandemic and this is especially true of our seniors. It has had a significant impact on their health and well-being. So this year, it's really important to recognize Intergenerational Day and to come together and look out for one another. I encourage our seniors and our youth to connect virtually or in person safely on June 1st to celebrate, share stories, and learn from one another. I wanna wish everyone a very happy Intergenerational Day. We can all contribute to create a more age-friendly society by giving older adults and youth a chance to connect and better understand each other. It's a great opportunity to reduce loneliness and isolation for both seniors and young people. La journée intergénérationnelle. La journée les personnes âgées peuvent faire des activités ensemble. Ça aide à réduire la solitude et l'isolement. Hello, my name is Sharon McKenzie, and I'm the executive director of Eye to Eye Intergenerational Society. I want to take this opportunity to thank every one of you who took a small step to bridge that generational gap this year. And if you haven't done so yet, do it today or tomorrow, because every day is a good day to meet on that generational bridge. Thank you.